بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا بالقاسم المصطفى محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين First I congratulate you for birth anniversary of Imam Hassan al-Mushtaba alayhi salam the grandson of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and the son of Amir al-Mu'mineen and the son of Amir al-Mu'mineen and Lady Fatima sallallahu alayhi The fifth ayah that we want to reflect, which is a great lesson for humanity, and if we all human beings observe, will greatly improve our life, is verse 152 of chapter 6. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولا تقربوا مال اليتيم إلا بالتي هي أحسن حتى يبلغ أشده وأوف الكيل والميزان بالقسط لا نكلف نفسا إلا وسعها وَإِذَا قُلْتُمْ فَعْدِلُوا وَلَوْ كَانَ ذَا قُرْبَى وَبِعَهْدِ اللَّهِ أَوْفُوا ذَلِكُمْ وَصَّاكُمْ بِهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَذَكَّرُونَ This ayah is an ayah that every human being appreciates and solves many, many problems. First, a very a strong instruction about how to deal with the money and properties of orphans. Unfortunately, there are always orphans and there are always death, illnesses, and sometimes because of war, the number of orphans increase. What should we do with respect to orphans? We have to be kind with everyone. But when it comes to orphans, we have to be extra careful, extra supportive. And by no chance, any mishandling of the money and property of orphans. Not only no one should say, because this is a child, you know, doesn't understand, you know, so it's okay. No. Even if there is no bad intention, but you are not capable of handling their financial affairs properly, you should not touch it. For example, there is a land, there is a business, there is something, there is money for orphans. And you are the guardian and you don't even misuse penny. But you are not capable of looking after this property or business or, you know, improve it. Don't touch it. To the extent that Allah says, لا تقربوا مال اليتيم. Even don't go near. Even, not only doesn't say don't touch it, it says even don't go near. Don't go near even is one step before touching. So don't go near the money of orphans. Like fire, you don't touch the fire, you keep distance from fire. Illa billati hiya ahsan. Unless it is in the best possible way. Not the best possible way for you, because maybe you are not a capable person. Even you do your best, it's not enough. The best possible way available. If this money is handled by someone who is experienced, someone who is clever, someone who knows business, how he would be dealing with, that's the only way possible. 
hatta yablugha ashuddahu till this orphan becomes mature strong not only physically mentally is able to look after his or her own money then should be given to him or her to look after but till they can take over the guardians have to be very very cautious وَأَوْفُ الْكَيْلَةِ وَالْمِيزَانَ بِالْقِسْطَةِ And also you must observe in measure and weight justice. So if you are selling, buying, it should be according to full justice. For example, you buy one kilogram rice, it should not be 999 grams. It should be one or even more, so that you are sure. Those who are religious and pious, they always give more. And there is barakah in giving more, so that you are sure that nothing from their money comes to you. But this is not only for weighing for anything which has measure. So if I have to work eight hours, I have to work eight hours. If I have to work 10 hours, I have to work 10 hours. That is also measure. It doesn't need to be weighing. Anything which has a measure and you have committed to observe it, you have to observe it. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blames the people who sell less وَيْلٌ للمطففين. but it's not only for shopkeepers every person can be mutaffaf <laughs> a teacher also if doesn't prepare himself or doesn't observe the time is always late so we have to observe the measure and wait. Don't say this is not possible. It is possible. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never asks you to do something more than you can. When he says be just and careful, it's possible. He doesn't want you to use atomic watch. <laughs> but as much as possible, be careful, do a little extra. In your speech, when you speak, be just. Even if it is about a relative, you should not take the side of your relative. You have to be just. For example, you know, if I am working in a shop uh, and my relative comes i cannot give him more from the account of the shop <laughs> if you are the shop owner it's fine but for example if you work in someone else's shop or in a supermarket you cannot give more to your relatives or when you are speaking there's a problem between two people you cannot take the side of your relative as we said before justice has to be observed with respect to friend or enemy, is the same. And be loyal to the promise, to the covenant that you have with God. Whether it is something that it is directly with God, you have promised you have responsibilities, duties you have to fulfill. For example, This is ahd, this is a covenant between us and Allah. We have to worship him, serve him, not the shaitan. But also indirectly, if I promise you, or if there is a contract between us, there is ahd between us, here also it is ahd with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because he is watching and he says that you have to keep your promises and you have to be loyal to your contract and agreement. So Mufassirin say, Awfu ba'ahdillah includes even 
contracts between people. المؤمنون عند شروطهم أوفوا بالعقود. We in a Muslim society we should not even need documentation. Of course, we keep documentation. It's recommended. We register everything. But our word should be the best document. And we just write it down so that we don't forget. But a Muslim doesn't need the pressure of police or the court. A Muslim, when he commits, even if he loses his life, he would not lose his word and honor. And imagine if our society observed this ayah. We are careful about orphans. We observe full measure and scale. We keep our promises. We don't take side of anyone, even if it's a relative. Our world will be totally different. Much, much, much better. Zalikum wasakum bih. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advises you. Like, you know, we had ya'idhukum. That was Mu'idha. He's a wasiyah. He's Allah's advice. La'allakum tadhakkaroon. So that you may remember. You don't need to be taught. This is in your fitrah. This is just a reminder. Every human being understands that they should keep their promise. This is just a reminder. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَذَكَّرُونَ We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to include us among the people that when it comes to dealing with the money and property of the orphans, they are extra careful. They, know, they do not approach it unless they are sure that they can do the best for the benefit of the orphans. We ask Allah to include us among the people who fulfill all the requirements of contracts that they have made. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us just in our speech and loyal to our promises. May Allah give shifa to all people who are ill. May Allah forgive all marhumin, especially those who have rights upon us. And may Allah prepare us for the Laylatul Qadr, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen.